Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. As we are approaching 2025, one of the things that we we'll really wonder about next year as PC cells are supposed to grow and new players are going to offer us PCs that are based on ARM that might be very powerful. And the question that is um, an interesting one with Intel being kind of in trouble, losing a lot of cash, um, Intel also is known to have, as late as May of this year, um, paying some PC makers to use their chips in, um, instead of competition. Uh, it's a wonder um, if, you know, maybe we are getting to a point where the PC market is about to change into a variety of different options. Um, we learned that Intel has a hard time, but it's still there. Now, x86 is an old, or x and, and x64, it's an old architecture. It's possibly keeping a lot of our PCs and, you know, not being that um, innovation that we want. They're not working hard. Intel has been pretty much sitting on its pile of cash just doing nothing and releasing generation after generation of processors that sometimes are even, like, not really that much better than the previous one. And... Um, AMD, which of course offers a competition, has kind of started to go in a different direction. They are restructuring, and one of the things that they are said is that they are going to focus on workstations, servers, things like that, and that there's pretty much no mention of the consumer market. So is AMD kind of abandoning the PC market? At some point, it'd be interesting to see. And yet we have, of course, Qualcomm that has the Snapdragon that um, is running fairly well with Windows. And NVIDIA next year is going to come out with what is supposed to be a killer um, ARM processor with, of course, uh, an integrated NPU for you know AI. And we are wondering if the future of PC will dump the X64 at some point and go to new technologies. Um, I, I think it will at some point. Um, I think there is a need for the industry to move on to something different, more modern, that will actually give us new PCs that have a lot more modern technology because they don't have to be stuck in the past running old code from you know processors that basically need to keep some really old stuff in it that bloat them if they want to always keep the you know competition and the the uh, c capabilities and of course um, you want to have all your software compatible with the past and hardware. So we're moving on in a different world and 2025 could be an interesting um, year where maybe we'll see that the dent of that, that is not really showing much about, you know, Qualcomm and uh, ARM chips in, in general and Windows might actually now start to get a good um, bump and a good speed of adoption. Remember that people don't really care what's under the hood for the most part. People that buy PCs just want to have a good one that works well, that's fast. You know, even if it's NVIDIA having the CPU with an ARM chip, they don't care. Intel or AMD or all of that doesn't matter for the majority of people. It matters for, you know, people like us, people that watch this channel. We're different breed of enthusiasts, but... This is going to be interesting. I think we're maybe shifting to new technologies on the PC side of things. It'll be very interesting to see. 
Uh, remember that Intel has lost almost half of its value in the um, uh, the stock market. It went from 200 billion value at the beginning of this year, and it's lost 90. It's almost half. It's lost 90 billion, while Nvidia is out there, like you know, one of the biggest market value. I think that also means its future is probably where things are happening. Uh, we know how powerful some of their chips are. So this is going to be very interesting to watch. And the next year, um, are we at a point where the market share will shift to new manufacturers that weren't doing really, you know, anything special in ARM uh, and on PCs and suddenly are in the limelight for other things than what they are known for in general, like NVIDIA with their graphics adapter and so on. So how about it, guys? What do you think 2025 is bringing us? And do you think that Qualcomm, NVIDIA, even AMD wants to do a ARM chip? Will that change the PC uh, market share forever into new technologies? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.